Welcome to the Reactor Report. I'm your host, Becky Boop, and I've got the scoop for you right now. This week has been an amazing week within the reaction community, and I've got several incredible stories for you today. We'll start out with Lost Paws, who had his channel terminated due to community guidelines violations. However, he is now back, and his channel has been restored yesterday. Aside from the fact that it's great news that he got his channel back, he also managed to grow his second channel a substantial amount during this time due to an overwhelming outpouring of support from his community. He doesn't limit his content to reactions, however, he does have a good number of reactions on his channel. Next up, we have reactors receiving more positive coverage from yet another huge company. This time, it is Game of Thrones, who in an interview over in Iceland was actually highlighting reactions to their series. Ertu búin að fylgjast eitthvað með þessum hérna reaction videos? Já, ég hef bara <laughs> út því að það er svo sjálfgætt að fá svona viðbrauð sko eða geta séð eitthvað <laughs> No fucking way. I wanted to thank our viewer Gooby for this amazing tip. I have the interview along with the timestamps linked in the description below. Also, we have some amazing news from Jabby Koe. The trailer reactions on Jabby's channel have been booming and he's now over 76 thousand subscribers, a gain of over 35,000 subscribers in just the past 30 days. What is the key to Jabby's success? When speaking with our producer Akasan, he had this to say. You, my brother, Tyrone, you guys have a good foothold in pop culture reactions. I decided to give reactions to trailers I noticed others weren't really looking at and gave it the same attention to detail I generally give and found that personality gelled well with the Indian audience and that they appreciated the craftsmanship I give. Their enjoyment of my content fuels my inspiration to get even more creative with my videos and give even more in different ways and they appreciate it. So for all the reaction channels that have still been plugging along despite all the challenges that have come up recently, you still have a chance to go strong. There is, however, some not so great news. Charmex, whose main channel just received two copyright strikes, has decided to private all of his non-gameplay videos. Currently, he still has some gameplay videos showing, but originally he privated every video except for this one video announcing that he wouldn't be posting more reactions on his channel until this second copyright strike was resolved. Now this was a big move. By privating all those videos, he's suffering the same fate that CJ so cool faced before him when he said he was hacked, and that without all those videos being there to help you rank in YouTube's algorithms, it affects the standing of your channel. Now chances are he'll bounce back as soon as those videos are made public again, but for now, he's uploading to his second channel and still posting the occasional gameplay video on his main channel. And we have news of a major lawsuit that broke this week. Ray William Johnson had a lawsuit against Jukin Media. Now, Ray William Johnson was hosting a show that focused on viral video clips and provided commentary and sometimes even educational critique of those video clips. And originally, when this case was taken to court, the ruling was in his favor. However, a juror has since stepped forward since this case was taken before the jury and said that 40 out of 40 videos that were being considered by the jury were ruled as not having fair use. Now, this ruling never actually went through because the case ended up settling as Ray William Johnson and Equals 3, his company, came to a settlement with Duke and Media. However, the implications of this case are extremely interesting and I have a full video for you analyzing the legal details of this case in the description below. So if you want to try to decide if your videos may or may not be fair use, you might want to check out that video. I would recommend it for every reactor out there. Finally, in one more piece of ongoing news, there are several MCNs that are currently tied up in a copyright lawsuit. Those multi-channel networks are Maker Studios, Awesomeness TV, and Broadband TV, who are being sued for music copyright infringement. 
I have been reporting on the trend that broadband TV in particular, which is the network that hosts most reaction channels and is partnered with the majority of them, has been battening down the hatches and not partnering new channels that only create reaction content. Now, previously, we've been looking at the link to broadband taking these actions and the fact that YouTube has been cranking down on its policies with reaction channels as well. However, there is a possibility that it's only tangentially related because broadband is currently going through a separate copyright lawsuit, so they just want to be careful. If you have a tip or story for this show, tweet it at Instagamer with the hashtag Reactor Report. We also now have a dedicated Twitter account at Reactor underscore report for you to follow for Reactor only news. Thank you for your continued support and sharing of this series. If you enjoyed this, share it with a friend and don't forget to subscribe for more Reactor news.